Welcome everyone to today's edition of JBS Craft Corner. My name is Stephanie, I'm an educator at the John Becker Sands Wetland Center, and for this video, we will be learning how to DIY a nature journal that can be used on your next outdoor adventure. A link to the instructions as well as a list of materials will be posted in the description below. First, we will go over the materials. To start, you will need some sort of heavy duty cardboard or cardstock to be used as your covers. For my example, I have an old gift box that will be used as my journal's covers. Next, you will need some sort of blank printer paper to act as your journal pages. Or, you can print out a copy of our journal pages using the link in the description below. As you can see, we have a nature bingo page, a nature walk observation page, a weekly weather observation page, a bird sighting log for those young birders out there, an animal track ID guide, as well as a poison plant guide. Remember, leaves are three, let them be. You will also need some sort of measuring tool like a ruler to measure out your cover pages, as well as a pencil, some scissors, and a hole punch. As for the binding, you will need to find a strong stick that is about 11 inches in length, as well as a rubber band. The very first thing to do is to take your cardboard and cut it down to size. The covers are going to be slightly larger than the actual pages themselves. So, you will need to measure out 11 and a half inches in one direction, and 8 and 3 quarter inches in the other direction. After you have your cardboard measured, go ahead and cut your cardboard along the lines you just drew. Repeat this entire process for your second cover. Now that both covers are cut out, next you will need to mark where the holes will be punched out for binding the journal together. In order to do that, you will need to measure a half inch from the left hand side and one and a half inches from both the top and the bottom. And again, repeat this process on the other cover. Next, you will need to mark out where the holes will be punched for the journal pages. Now, you will also notice that our, our journal pages have already been pre marked for hole punching. As for the blank pages, you will need to measure a half inch from the left and one and a quarter inches from the top and the bottom.
Now that everything has been marked, you will want to arrange your journal pages in any order you prefer, and using a single hole punch, punch at the markings you just made. Next, line up your cover pages and again punch holes at the markings you just made. Once everything has been hole punched, stack your journal together, making sure the holes line up. To make opening your journal easier, line up a ruler close to the holes and fold your cardboard upwards. At this point, it will be helpful to have a parent or friend nearby to help you hold the journal together as you bind it. Next, you will take your rubber band, wrap it around the stick, and thread it through the hole. Now, if this becomes too difficult for you, you can unfold a paper clip to use as a hook. Once you have your rubber band threaded, flip the journal to the back, pull the rubber band all the way down, and thread it through the next hole and wrap it around the stick again. And now, your journal has been successfully bound together. Once your journal has been built, you can use colored pencils or markers, as well as some stickers to decorate your journal to your preference. Now, I'm going to go ahead and decorate my journal and make it look nice and pretty. Lastly, for those nature treasures you find on your adventures, you can glue a mailing envelope onto a blank page to act as a pocket.
And that's it! Your nature journal is complete for you to take on your next outdoor adventure. Hope you enjoyed this craft, and stay tuned for the next craft video.